Hello friends, welcome you all once again in lecture series Manufacturing Technology. Today <clears throat> we're discussing about uh, the 36th lecture. I am Tiwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Suresh Kanbiar University, Jaipur. Topic of our lecture is uh, the type of rapid prototyping technologies. The objective of the lecture is to provide knowledge on different type of rapid prototyping system and its application in various fields. Second is to understand of rapid prototyping technology and the various machines available commercially. Third is to familiarize or we can say to familiarity with the emerging rapid prototyping and its application in micro manufacturing and the other field. So these all are the objective which we are covering today in uh, lecture and uh, discussing about the different technologies which is adopted in the uh, rapid prototyping. At the outcome of this course, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to understand about the rapid prototyping helps designers present new concept to board members, clients or investors so that they can understand and approve the development or product. This visualization can also allow designers to gain ready feedback from the customer and client based on an actual physical product rather than a concept. So these all are the some outcomes which we are getting at the end of the lecture. Now a topic that is a type of the rapid prototyping technology. So there are the different type of rapid prototyping technologies are as follows. Uh, let me be discussing about the one by one. The first is the SLA type of uh, technology that is uh, stereolithography. Uh, this is a very common type of uh, rapid prototyping technique which is generally now used in uh, uh, automobile industries, uh, medical industries. Uh, or we can say everywhere this type of rapid prototyping technology that is stereolithography is to be generally used in the now industry. Second is SLS that is a selective laser centering. Selective laser centering is also the very popularly uh, type of technique after that does uh, lateral lithography. Then another third one is LOM that is the laminated object manufacturing. Fourth is FDM that is a fused deposition modeling. And third is a 3DP that is three dimensional printing. The three dimensional printing is the most important uh, now a very trend and everybody want to work with the 3D printing because it's a very new latest technology and have a very wide advantage in everyone in the medical industry or because the engineering sector, agriculture sector, almost all the sectors are covered when to manufacture this type of industry for the 3D printing. So this is a very commonly type of uh, all are the rapid prototyping technology which is generally used for making the product. Uh, faster and a good finish and uh, having the how uh, we can say attractive look we providing by this type of technologies. So first it is true lithography SLA discussing about in that uh, it is a patented in uh, 1986 basically. So steel lithography started the rapid prototyping revolution. So that time we can say the technique built the three dimension model from liquid photosensitive polymer that solidify when exposed to ultraviolet light. So as we know that uh, it is a very uh, common type of technology and uh, you know that the dumpy, if you have split the NAM that is a stereolithography, then uh, the, the two terms which we divide is stereolithro and that is a graph is a photographical form that we have to make the graphical image when the 3D form and to generate a 3D model of the particular uh, material or what product we are selected for this. And allowed to solidify, that was uh, uh, solidify when the export is the ultraviolet petrol. These are the very common type we have to use for that. And as you know, that uh, most of the industries are to be adopted with this stereolography uh, technique because uh, it is uh, widely used as well as the uh, we used to make a uh, demand that is used to put a dimension or make a uh, small model of uh, that particular product to the computer, then it will be a we can say then it will be uh, converted into the physical form by the allowed from solidification of the uh, material by the polymers with the sensitivity, uh, photosensitive polymers we have to generally use for as a liquid form. 
So that time it were here commonly popular to be understand the wide range it, uh, when post that solidification when the exposed to uh, ultraviolet light is to be exposed with them. So as you see, as you see in this diagram, uh, systemic diagram for uh, still utilizing capillary process. So that is, if you want to make uh, uh, that is for uh, you can see this. Uh, here's a table move or and uh, move up and down. This is a table move up and down continuously, and uh, the liquid photograph polymer are to be placed in uh, some container and uh, object form in the layer. You can see here this uh, the object form in the layer. You just pass out the layer system. Uh, laser system to laser to be passed out under the uh, uh, we can say the liquid, uh, liquid photographer. Uh, we can say liquid photography polymer, and uh, we observe that uh, all the uh, all the that shape uh, of that uh, laser system will be passed to the um, this liquid uh, container and having the make this system as it is as a copy of that particular original. It is the object form in the layer. So this type of technique are to be obtained by the passing the laser on the, the polymer. Uh, we can say a photo of polymer a liquid in this instead. And it will be converting the, the stead and diagram, it will be converting the shape and size as per your desired, what type of uh, it is basically it is advantage that is it will be make the very larger or uh, very place or simple or complicated, all the types of shape to be formed with the help of the still stereolithography process because generally very popular uh, it has a various advantages that's why it is to be selected it has not only uh, it is not required for any too much any type of instruments or any uh, larger the process very required for that it is a simply process and just we have to conduct uh, this process by with the help of the uh, liquid uh, photo polymer be required for a certain quantity in the container and you have to passing all the laser system uh, the laser system is passing basically it, it uh, uh, it get the command. Uh, it will put the command for a particular. If you want to make a some, uh, uh, for example, a car. Okay, so you can put the laser the system diagram on the uh, on a particular by coding and just passing the rays uh, as uh, as as it is the car is to be made. So this type of a structure will be formed after the uh, we get after stopping the laser and uh, it's allowed to. This is a liquidify. So after that you need to some convert some. Uh, solidify manner and after solidification it will be completed uh, as you said that uh, this is the actual model which we are opting for that. So these are the some litro so that's why we can the steel lithography is a very good technique and they just passing the radiations from the laser uh, laser processes and laser system and it will be converted into the physical manner that what you want to make uh, for that particular complex or a light shape also. So these are the some benefits we will be uh, getting out by the um, system and having the good uh, no good number of production and we can say the larger the production and the fast speed having data because it has to be obtained by the maximization and minimization uh, radiation will be passing on that polymer it will be a uh, depending upon the what type of polymer you are selected for this and uh, what type of image you have to uh, want to make for the purpose so that is uh, we can say there are different type of purposes are that is uh, uh, we can say sometime it will be uh, uh, it sometimes it will be as a larger the object or smaller the object or a complex object a simple object they are different type of shape and size area. so that time it will be uh, useful for us uh, to maintain this quality now we term that is uh, this laser quality is to be obtained by maximization uh, uh, the measure the laser maximum the laser maximum laser will be passed out for them. and it obtained to be a lithography polymer so that time it will be able to understand its systemic diagram and having that object will be a perform a very simply manner and having a good quality that will be provided by the uh, operator. So it will require only the laser uh, and skill. And if you do not have the laser skills and how it will operate and how uh, you can uh, make the image uh, as a clearly in the polymer, liquid polymerization, these are the techniques which we have to understand first of all. After that, you will be able to do uh, easily uh, for method we are applying for them. So this that time we can say. So that time, or after that time, we have to say that it is a technique building three-dimensional model for the liquid. Uh, we can say the photosensitivity, okay, for the polymer, and that uh, the solidify when the explode to the ultraviolet uh, light. So this is a dangerous for some time because it will be release the harmful gases. And uh, but it is uh, mostly popular. We have to aware all the type of products before using this. We have to take the precautions before using this type of technique. These are some benefits which we are using, are getting by this uh, still lithography. Uh, 
processor. Now the basic component of uh, as uh, LA that is releasing uh, uh, SLA. Uh, that is you can send this diagram that uh, the laser uh, mirror uh, evaluator, evaluator arm platform sensor and uh, resign button. So that is uh, we can say that uh, laser is a contractive uh, concentrative UV beam to transform the liquid into solid state. So laser work is to concentrative the ultraviolet beam to the transform uh, liquid section will be convert uh, certification like this. Okay. So as you know that uh, liquid is a So as you noted, the liquid is a cylindrical, the liquid is a fixed in the cylindrical jar or container and uh, we just provide the, we can say we just providing the ultraviolet rays, okay, for that and to be transformed with the album. So these are the, some uh, laser work is to be there. Elevator that is to uh, control the movement of a platform upward and direction or downward. So obviously that it will be required the platform for moving up and down at the desired or what type of shape we providing for that. It has to be adjusted by the elevator to be set them up for some time and some set them to downward sometimes and what uh, the some different positioning or angle to be till by this or to be happen by the elevator uh, next one that is a platform platform that is a steel plate you can see this diagram the platform is just nothing it is a steel plate with planetary of hall as the blastment of part building so platform that is a steel plate and which has the plenty of uh, holes as uh, the basement for the part building and uh, resign wet that means uh, uh, contain the raw material to from the SLA bottle and the mirror that is to control the path of a movement of the dye laser being at the X axis and the Y axis for that. So these are the some difference between them and it is the uh, controller the path of a movement of the laser beam at the X axis and the why it is a because what type of access you want to provide for uh, the particular operation that is access you want to make the object or y axis you want to make the object so what type of object or type of access you have selected for making the uh, uh, straight path or the detailing traveling path so what are the requirement what are the some uh, subsequent we have to design that we have to understand for that next that is a sensor sensor that is locate the coordinate and instant the power of the laser. Locate the coordinate instant. Uh, we can system the power of the um, coordinate that is uh, and send the uh, controller unit for a fine adjustment. That is, we can see here this is a sensor that is locate the coordinate and uh, instant the power of sensor beam. So this is the some location. What type of location? What type of the location you have to put down then and, uh, and feedback to be controlling the unit for the fine adjustment. So these are the some. Uh, uh, basic components of all the SLA the type of uh, system to be making for the uh, material uh, or making for the product uh, as a physical form by the help of the uh, laser beam. So this type of laser type of uh, uh, technique to be a developed from last few years because uh, it's very necessary to be just to pay, make a printed copy. So printed copy of it for how we can obtain the maximum number of uh, maximum numberization of uh, product will be manufactured it will be done by the uh, some laser type of technique and that will be a very useful but it's sometimes it will be uh, dangerous because it will uh, uh, release the uv rays which is harmful for us and uh, having the very tech uh, we have to take more the precaution regarding this to be uh, maintain the quality of the copy because uh, uh, higher the laser beam it will be destroyed it will be removed the surface area it will be burn the surface area so all preventing this type of problem we have to make sure that our basic uh, uh, requirement for that uh, how much temperature we have obtained from the maximum and minimum it will be putting by them so these are the some benefits and advantages as we are to discussing on the uh, basic component of the SLA system second one is the selective uh, selective laser uh, staining SLS selective laser staining uh, that we can say that uh, you see in this diagram that is uh, there are different type of components are here uh, as a starting from the laser, that is laser up from the blue section, we are in the bar type it to indicate the laser and if we pass the laser to the sensor, the sensor's work is to doing the focus on that particular uh, X, Y, scalar matter, minor, mirror and uh, this laser will for, goes to downward and the, what, uh, where the focus we want to then actually goes to. So the laser will, will be transferred to the standard part and uh, it will be converted to the powder bed. Then after the powder bed, it will be a uh, roller leveling of the roller we are using for that for making the level of a surface to be straight or uh, 
if any zigzag motion or zigzag path will be arriving that will be removed by them with the leveling roller the work is stroller is to be to provide the same leveling or inter or clear leveling as compared to the standard format of okay, decided by the organization then is the powder uh, feed supply system powder supply system are there from which we providing the powder for feeding that uh, uh, okay and uh, powder uh, feed uh, piston are available in, inside this to be completely doing the working reciprocally and to be build uh, the system very easily and with the help of them and the building piston are available for you know powder feed supply and powder feed uh, piston so these are the some basic instrument basic uh, we can set a component and having and then you know have to idea how to can operate it really simple to understand it's simply to be calculate how it will be used for that but uh, you have to just understand that uh, focus is the main point because the lens if you are uh, if you are uh, uh, disturbing the lens and uh, some uh, either uh, will be occur at a uh, we can say the mirror uh, by the scanning mirror because the lens are used to focus on that particular mirror which is uh, not be a possible by the neck the eyes or from the human being uh, as a part of we are not working with the experienced person so that uh, it will be operating sometime okay so that time we have to understand the what is the importance of the lens as uh, we are using for that uh, purpose that we are not using uh, because of that we have not uh, gone to that for because i am not aware about this so these are the some techniques will be are absorbing at uh, selective uh, that is the laser uh, sanitary technique as well as that is very important type of technique and uh, uh, as you know that just passing the lens, uh, passing the laser to the lens and the lens will transfer to that particular uh, beam to the um, XY portal mirror and mirror will be to focus on that point where the mirror is to be tilted about a certain angle and certain uh, area want to focus after that with the help of the mirror we will be focusing on that. So these are the some benefits will be achieved by the selecting uh, uh, laser, the sanitary type of uh, technique will be adopted for them. So technology so these are some technology which we are using the rapid prototyping and having the very wide range of application used and this application is basically we can say that uh, uh, that is the maximization of uh, and minimization we can say uh, money minimum money to be used and the minimum time required a very fast rapid type of photo populations and even and evenly the everyone is to be used there is no any requirement to be always a skill person is required for that but just to have an awareness have any idea how you can operate it, how you can operate it, you can, uh, you know the idea for how to operate this, this or after if you are aware this all the time, so all the time terms that you must be aware, this is, this is to be happen by only for that uh, managing the laser beam or to understand the laser criteria for type of parameter you selected for to passing the laser beam for that. So these are the some working of the, because of the selecting the laser beam and selecting the laser uh, sanitary as well as technique for that. So these are the advantages of SLA that is the flexibility of material used. Probably the flexibility of the material used that is the PVC material, nylon material, sand for buildings and casting cores, metals and investment, uh, the casting wave. So these all are the material you have uh, selected for that particular process as well as process. Next one advantage that is the no need to create a structure to support the part. So there is no requirement to create a structure for support the part and uh, another one is that the, the part do not require any uh, any post cure the acceptance while the ceramic is used so these are the some advantages of uh, uh, we can say the, uh, the selective uh, scanning that are okay and the, the, the advantage advantage of this uh, process is that during the certification the additional powder may be hardness at the board line so we have to reminded that as a during the certification, the additional powder to be selected as a very medium and very large quantity with that way for the preventing from the hard end uh, at the during boarding the time. There is also some data advantages we have to focus on that uh, uh, process. Okay. Second one is that the roughness is not uh, visible when is not most visible when the part contains sloping stop surface. The disadvantage we are facing for the quality work, that is to be um, during the working, uh, we said that uh, the, some of the experiences will be told that um, roughness is will not most uh, visible. Uh, there is a lot of the roughness will be visible when the part is containing the sloping. So uh, we have to removing the surface appearance. We need to, to require the machining after the process or type of uh, technique because this is already the costly 
technique and we have to almost uh, spend too much amount of money for a particular to increase in the surface quality of the product and to increase in the good shining of the product for that. But we, did, we do not have the advantages point for the increasing the surface roughness are here and how to remove this we have to remove by maintain the quality of uh, initial level. Okay. Second is the, the application then that is the visual presentation model. So this visual presentation model is to be obtained by the we can say the application range uh, to be considered in the SLS. Uh, uh, we can say SLS the pro procedure, okay, for technology. So that can the second one, advanced uh, application that is a functional and a tough prototyping to be used. Where the functional product prototyping to be applicable, it will be used for uh, at that place and it will be a very uh, good uh, successively occur on the range of the material to be studied. So that time we can say there is a Cast metal part, cast metal part. That means uh, uh, cast metal part, as we can say, uh, for application for made of the for making the cast metal part, different type of cast metal part. If you want to make aggregate, it will be possible with the help of the application range of this SLS process. Third one is the laminated object manufacturing LOM. Laminated object uh, manufacturing LOM. That is, uh, as the name simple, the plus is uh, laminated thin sheet of the paper, plastic or uh, paper of paper, plastic. Okay? That is, uh, we have to, as the name implied, that we have to also call with the name to understand what is the process. It is a paper laminated thing and a sheet of the flame that is the paper or plastic required for the required form material to be object be manufactured. Okay. Second one, that is a laser has only to cut and uh, scan the principally of each layer. So laser is only to cut, uh, is it correct, but it can be, uh, we can say, precisely of the each uh, layer to be used for that. It is the same type of conditions are occurred. That's why we can say that laminated flame or objective manufacturing is very popular nowadays for it for, 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 for by the help of these benefits. So these are the some reasons why to be selected for that. Because of this type of technology, we are having the growth and electric type of technology, we are having to use for that. Now, next one, that is uh, the process of what is, so what is the process for this? Uh, the build of material that is a build material that means uh, uh, the paper with a thermo setting uh, resign glue on its under the side and it is stretched from a supply roller processes across on anvil or uh, we can say platform to take up the roller or the other side. These are the some uh, process requirement of uh, during the working with them. So that is a uh, heated the uh, roller uh, processes over the paper paper bonding it to be the platform or the previous layer. So these are the some benefits or the process we have to get out. So that is uh, the role of the uh, guide or paper or we can see in the diagram it is treated, uh, heated the roller and uh, we have to focus that beam, focus beam to that part of moving mirror and the object convert into bike from the view set. So these are we are recording for making the view section to the requirement. So these other some benefits will be get out by the helping or we have to understand to each other and cooperate to each other that we have to manage in this type of uh, processes in a different task would be out to providing very simple for the understanding of the better uh, knowledge of for the subject of which we are discussing with the topic. Now that is uh, a heated roller, a heated roller that we can say that a heated roller uh, passes over the paper bonding uh, it to be the platform of a previous layer. So it to be pre platform that was the previous layer to be used for the hot rolling process here. Hot roller are to be passes over the uh, bonding, paper bonding and it to the platform of the paper review. Second one that is a laser the focus uh, to penetrate it. Laser pickers to penetrate it and throughout the one thickness of paper and then cut to be uh, profile. Uh, to the layer and thus excessive the excessive pressure of the paper will be inserting. This model is to be etched into, uh, into the small square and fill it to the removal. So these other some section will be uh, providing them the each in process. Each in process is basically is depending upon the different type of the material, even the different type of the solution we require. Solution we require for that to be remove the unwanted space or to be burn the upper layer of the surface. It will to be destroyed by the internally. Uh, if you see the microscopic that. Uh, the metal will be removed internally uh, because of the height uh, temperature and different type of uh, metal we have selected for that. So this art we have to understand that a different type of a technique are as follows for and to maintain the quality surface. So uh, this diagram is to be generally clear that uh, while during the red of a glue paper and the hollow paper lies to be started. 
what race to be started and the laser beam will be passed to the mirror and the it will turn around the some certain uh, degree that is the heat roller will be a place here and to be heated the material and the object will be completely heated with high temperature and will be remove the piston from that and go in direction and so it, it to be used for that and we are making the curve for that and sometime it will be happen to be that uh, for next one that is the process continuum the process continuum that means the process of uh, gluing and the cutting continues by layer by layer without the uh, until the model is completed. So that we can say the process of uh, gelling and the uh, cutting uh, continues layer by layer until the model is completed. The, and second one that is the, to reduce the build time, uh, double or even the triple layer are cut at uh, one time, which increasing the size of the step by on the curve and surface. And the post causing the necessary to be smooth for the those surfaces are as follows. So these are the so these are the some reasons. These are the reasons why we are choosing the uh, SLS for type of technique and it will be adopted very easily. So there are the some reasons to be justify the platform or uh, to be understand the process continuity. What type of process you have to understand what we are telling about a particular term uh, related to uh, you are satisfied that is the product which will be uh, giving the right feedback for us to maintain the quality with the customer. We have to. Ensure that all the times of uh, material will be uh, fine finishing. I have used and having that uh, not the too much high temperature will be increasing on the surface because it will be chances to burn and uh, decreasing the melting for mechanical property for that. Okay, so now that's next. That is uh, advantages of that uh, is uh, first advantage is the wide range of material. So we have to select it is a wide range of the material. The wide varieties of the range of the material are as follows. Second is fast uh, build time, fast building time, and we have to make the time very really fast for build and having a good increase in the current, current uh, accuracy and our productivity for that. Uh, next, it is a high accuracy. Okay, the high accuracy will be providing by this machine because we know that uh, uh, it have to be operated by the work, uh, customer and uh, uh, we have to provide in the good quality of accuracy. If, uh, if the material is not providing the good finishing, surface finishing, and after attractive load and uh, uh, having the all the ports are to be filled up by the, the machines that will be available for the high uh, accuracy will be shown about this point if we do not be true to uh, consider. Uh, next, it is the LOM objective uh, that is the uh, durable multiplayer structure can be uh, which can be machined. Uh, okay, the so plated, polished, or coded the painted. So, these all are the some definite uh, structure or we can find out that. Uh, uh, polishing we have to find created for the material. So these are the some advantages which we have to find out from making the advantages of our the LOM that is to be used. Now the application then that is the use of a precision partner, partner for the considering the tool process. So these are the some in order to the precision partner. Okay, these are the all, all the partner for the secondary following processes, the tooling process that is such as the uh, rubbing the model, casting iron and the, we can say direct investment cast. So the middle of the sector for making the instrument it is to be a very fine finishing or it to be a great idea to solve this type of a problem very well. Fourth one that is a fused deposition modeling that is FDM that is a, using this I can 200 specification that is a uh, particularly specification that fit a difference between them that uh, the building the volume at 10 inch to 10 uh, into M 10 into M with metal ABS that is a LPS metal US cost starting cast of X and building uh, building uh, step the size that is 0 0.0252 0 0.030 is the answer for that uh, volume and for the product daily specification the volume uh, the uh, to build the volume it is 8 into 8 into 10 and the casting wax are here that is the step uh, cutting spread side that is 2007 uh, 0, 0 0.10 and 0 0.013 and up to the parts 7 4th faster then the FDM uh, 2000 is to be the use for the SAM. So these are the some reasons why it to be selected for that and why it is very beneficial for us to be a uh, calculate the time manner. Okay, now FDM is a solid uh, based uh, rapid prototyping method that, uh, to be obtained by extruding extrudes the material and laser by layer to be in, uh, we have to build a model. That is the uh, and another one is a thread of the a thread of the plastic is the feed into the minimum an extension head where it is heated into the uh, semi liquid state and extruded uh, through a uh, very small hole 
on the previous layer of the material. So that's why because supporting the material is also lead down in the similar manner. So there are some different advantages, different uh, type of testing we are doing in this platform and with the help of this we are creating a uh, good model for the understanding uh, properly. Okay, to have to mention this type, it is very clear to understand as it is a to benefit we have to find out for them. Now it is after some application that is the advantages are uh, easily fabrication, obviously that it is very easy to fabricate. Second is a minimal wastage. Okay, we also required for the minimal wastage for that. Third is the easy of removal and the easily handle. So easy of the removal and easily handle is to be a good task and a very difficult task for to understand. For to understand uh, the uh, easy break uh, fabrication of that particular product because uh, it will be easy to understand but minimize the wastage. So and to minimize the wastage that where the machining during the machining process we have to require to understand there is a low, low machining will be obtained when for that. Okay so these are some benefits will be a get out with the help of the diagram. Now second one that is uh, uh, easy of a removal and uh, easily handle. Easy of removal is easily of handle that is uh, removal that unwanted metal to be removed easily and uh, if you want to join this uh, metal to be a very fine finishing and be probably very high that it will be supply very light removal for that and that to be uh, using for this and the uh, application and that is a uh, designing designing is used for the uh, circuit for typing engineering analysis and the planning is also the part of the uh, this type of analysis and the uh, third one is the tooling and the uh, manufacturing technology skills also the part of the uh, we can say the, also the part of the uh, material which we have to be used for the wide application of uh, matter. So there are some reasons that which will process. So these are some reasons we have to obtain very clearly to be understand as a profile vendor. Now that is as you can see that uh, that uh, how rapid how rapid uh, prototype technology uh, can part to be used. Uh, first is the material available. Okay, second is the SLA. Third is the nine four SLA point and then the fifth is the uh, plastic ABS and ABC and ABS from the building, PPSF or ULTM. Okay, so the matter, the, the material science that indicate that UV contain covered photography similar to ABS or the PP. So, these are the some reasons which we have to find out by the material available. Second is the tensile strength. Tensile strength is the strength we have to keep in mind or understand that is a fair. Is SLA SLS compared to that is a fair and uh, FDM is to be used for the poor stride. Okay, now that is third one is a differentiation that is revolution. And uh, when the revolution that is a good, fair, and good, good. then uh, thin wall that is a good, fair, and a good. These all are the some perpendicular something some that we have to consider during the manufacturing of car or if any uh, material and that's why it's very important. So, that is third one that is the second definition. If you uh, the first finishing is very costly and if you want to make it a uh, so second is sleeping that is to be understand it. First is the painted uh, uh, paid printed the plat pla platically. So painted the plate is to be the part of the outcome. Second one is uh, printed the paid printedly placed. So and printed plate advance is to be a place by the and a cover by the small section of uh, area to be considered for us. Now the proof of design, the proof of design, it will say that uh, uh, yes and uh, yes, you can see it's a SLA for the categories yes and SLA by category for us and that's why we have to pass for the uh, yes value for us to the dominant. So we can say that is a part of the material. Second, uh, that means the function, uh, next one that is uh, Uh, function material that is to be used for the creativity of someone. So as you see in this diagram, that is a uh, three dimensional putting thin as putting that is three dp. That is it is developed by the dp that is process of creating an effect of the using the metal by put the down uh, uh, material by layer by which layer in a 3D material that is printed execute melt with the plastic filmentation or any other method. But the, but the building based upon the specification that comes into from the uh, modeling software and from a scan. 
up to existing uh, objects are coded. So these are some limitations and I've written the idea how to can manage this type of uh, processes by which we should be able to use the under the 3D conditions. So 3D conditions very popular and it has the uh, just uh, working with that if you are having the same phase and you have to make the certain component of phase with the fake material to the strong child. So it will be producing by this. You have to just put in the, your mask with certain temperature and you have to fix the wax with the phase of all and have to wait for a certain time. And after that, it will be see you, see you. If you are not uh, good for that, you have to see that all the terms that we have to remove by easily, strictly, and to be pen to be justified or cut on surface of the tool. That is the pen is the most important uh, having the current occupy on the heart. So that time we have to understand that the three dimensionality, the three objective, or uh, uh, we can say is formed as a 3D painting or extruding the metal plastic filamentation and other metals are to be used for that. And so hence that uh, we can say that they come from the modeling of software from scanning of the existing objects. So these are some reasons why we choosing the some uh, we can say extensional uh, objecting for us to be measured. So these are the some reasons which we have to uh, identify for uh, something new. Now we can see this diagram. It is a diagram for the 3D printing. We have to make a diagram for 3D printing and having the three. Uh, type of uh, board we are having present it is the uh, all and uh, two other persona. Two other persona to be available for us and uh, that's why we have to mini or uh, understood the other uh, bio, uh, we can other biological part for that. So it will be maintained by easily. So we have to fix that uh, to be part to be easily made and uh, easily to fix with them. So these are the some reasons that why we have to understand for us. So now it is to be checking as the mat technology and it's easily understood for us. I hope you understand this type of technology very soon and having the very good technology we have to remind it for us to maintain the quality of this matter. Now that is the second one that is we can say the how does the 3D printing work? The working of 3D printing that is to create the commercially with the 3D printer and having the band having the better by scanning of the other object uh, with the 3D the 3D scanner to be obtained by needed uh, simplification or by generating the space and the 2 and 3D uh, model to be application for us to be used for that. So these are the reasons to be identified why it is very costly, why it is very expensive, but that's why we have an idea and we have to the process for that. So reason is that all the material is suited for the nozzle and uh, we can substitute on the powder and after the powder, the controller machines, the machine of move from the other platform or to be nozzle. So these are the reasons why the machining process is to be important after the reboot port having 30 by to be used for that. We can send this diagram that is the one person to be uh, was to had is to be covered by the auto port having to create the good result for that. We know that uh, we have to, if we are clean the herd with the, by the water, we have to use one like, like this. So these are the same technique which we are using for that. Now you have to now you have now you have to manage now you have to understand all this type of factor which we are considering us to be a maximization to be a minimization the part. So these are the some reason why to be calculated for us to be designed. Uh, design the we can say design the correct initialization process for us. Okay. Now next it is about the 3D printing. The 3D printing is a tapping technology by using the, some of the uh, modern the wooden manufacturing part developer prototype and product going uh, through the laser test printed. And this has been increased the efficiency of the product by improving the 3D printing and involve other saving the product. The 3D printing is the technology is giving in the formulating and becoming the more competitive and more increasingly affordable. At that time, they, uh, a lot of this is uh, laid out of the businessmen and the industries that will benefit for us. So at that time, the lose employing uh, uh, the new alignment that is to be technology, including the manufacturing part and private advertisement and commercial uh, the market phenomena. So these are the reasons for understanding the frame of our which output the client with the new brilliant devices for us to be in India. Now you can see in this diagram 3D application that is the 3D initially to 3D particle where uh, the primarily to be used for us and it's very widely used for the application of making the sample design for us and making the industrial feature for us to be maintain the quality of uh, the department is very high to increase in the soil. Now you can see this diagram for the medical operation of uh, injured from dust that is to be made by the 3D printing 
of a human organ has uh, the being frequented for a uh, stronger over the last two or uh, three days uh, example three day last two three days uh, now they provide a more interactive menu um as a data of the relativity and 3d reaching at the computer screening at the pen trout surgery can uh, can calculate the touch and the feel by physical so these are the some reasons which we are using for the medical science this process uh, second one is you can see the diagram that is the uh, uh, complete structure as a formation are here to be if you want even the one half half end is not provided for the by birth and you have to creating for the german design of the good structure to be created for us to be maintain the quality of medical science to be also using the different type of zone Second, the media by uh, we can say bioprinter that is to be used nowadays. That is a 20% primary, as a primary for uh, powerful focus necessary and used to create uh, the dimensionally and like circular constructions, which has a bio minimal, there's a complex vertical, so the biological and the functionality is found in the native time and the organism. And the, and the bioprinter manufacturing technology was the, the smaller the bio. Uh, material and system laser has in the growth and the conditional and direction for us. That time we can see the atomic uh, system having a lower the creativity under the opportunity to frame to fabricate body. So these are some reasons that we have selected for why it is to be important. And why the every researchers are working on this, we have to designing for us to be make the in, in, uh, make the time will be as easily. So that time we have to understand all the features very carefully and to be powerful by them. Now, there are some advantages of automobile industry as are here. At the end of lecture, I will asking some multiple choice question that is possibly which of the following addresses the need to, to the design of proper product for safety. That is the first option are soft, the hard review. Second is the effective analysis. See, experimentally design and D, none of the above is options are as A is the answer for that current. Full form of FDMA, that is the A is the fixed development modeling, B fusion. Development modding C is the fusion deposition modding and B is the focus to deform deposition modding. So the correct answer that is C is the right answer for this. Third is the process of obtaining a geometric CAD model from the 3D printing required by scanning a digitalization existing a part of product is best known as the options are forward engineering, backward engineering, reverse engineering, or product engineering. So the correct answer that is C is the answer for it. Reverse engineering is very popular nowadays. Fourth is the interest in the uh, entire reverse engineering process uh, for product design. Which one of the first step? That is the first CAD model update, uh, CAD modeling, data pre processing, and data cap uh, capturing. So, the uh, most important that is the D is the use for that. That is, data capturing is the most important and commonly used for that, starting the part of CAD and uh, reverse engineering. Fifth question is the one of which one of the replica typing system is not developed by the three systems. So the options are First is selective laser screening SLS. Second is a multi jet modeling system MJL. Or the third is the paper lamination technique that's a PLT. And these is a stereolithography apparatus. The third one is the most important to understand that is C is the very right answer for us. Sixth question that is which of the following is used as a best metal in cellular extraction uh, processes? First is a thermoplastic metal powder, thermoplastic electric metal. Follow photo polymer and titanium alloy. So the correct answer that is C is the photo polymer is the right answer for us. Seventh is which is the uh, third step in reverse engineering. So the options are A is equal to uh, digitalization of the object, B is equal to creation of the CAD model, C is the prototype, and D is the none of the uh, this above. So the correct answer that is C is the prototype is the third type of reverse engineering. Eighth question that is which of the following advantages does not processes by the rapid prototyping processes over the traditional prototyping processes? The options are A is equal to it consumes the less time, B give the better quality, D, so C is reducing the product launching time, and D is uh, it's cheaper. So the correct answer that is the D is the answer for us. It is a very cheaper process which is used ever in the prototyping. Ninth question, which uh, kind of laser is used to cut the sheet in the LOM? That is the options are A is the rugby laser, B carbon dioxide laser, C he me laser, and D is none of this above. So the right answer that is D is none of the above is the type of laser which is used in the uh, to cut the sheet in uh, LOM. 
and the last 10 question that is which of the which among the following processes is most important a part of the product development the first is a packaging b is a purchasing c is the engineering design and d is the processing marketing is the right answer for it uh, c is the correct answer is engineering design at the end of this lecture i have recommend some books for preparing the lecture like series manufacturing technology uh, principle of manufacturing materials and processes by jamsel campbell tata magle publisher Manufacturing technology, forming foundry, welding by M J Rao from Tata Magic Publisher. Production engineering science by P C Pandey and C K Singh from Tata Standard Publication. The fourth is manufacturing technology by R K Rajput then Lakshmi Publication. And sixth and fifth is manufacturing technology by P N Rao by Tata Magic Publisher. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you have to enjoy the lecture series. Today's lecture series is over and uh, I hope you enjoy. If you have doubt any query, you will be drop me a mail on my email ID Amit dot Tiwari at Mygen dot com. And you will be also contact to me on my mobile number eight six nine zero three one nine double four eight. Thank you so much for listening. Personally, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.